Hello, my name is Jessica Heron, and I'm coming to you from AmeriCruising with Oils. And today I wanted to just uh, talk a little bit about oils for the skin to support your um, to support healthy skin. So your skin is your largest organ, of course, and it's your organ that covers the entire body. offers It offers the first layer of protection to the internal organs and tissues from exposure to the environment and to fungal and bacterial and other types of infection. It helps uh, regulate body heat and helps prevent evaporation of water from the body. Uh, the skin also carries nerve endings that allow the body to sense touch, heat, and pain, and the skin is comprised of three layers. The upper layer is the epidermis, the middle layer is the dermis, and the deepest layer is the hypodermis, or it's also called the subcutis later, layer. So you really, really want to keep your skin healthy, right? And there's many, many things you can do for that. You can, you want to make sure that your nutrition is good. You want to make sure that you're not using um, toxic chemicals like for cleaning. You want to make sure um, that you um, are drinking plenty of water and uh, to keep your skin hydrated. Um, you can also use essential oils to support healthy skin as well and um, to support the function of the cells in your skin. Uh, the best oils to use for uh, keeping your skin healthy and happy is uh, frankincense, lavender, myrrh, sandalwood, cedarwood, tea tree, uh, geranium, Roman chamomile, patchouli, and yarrow pomegranate. These all provide amazing skin soothing and healing properties. Frankincense and um, helichrysum, helichrysum is another one, sorry, but they both provide um, the properties of uh, encouraging new cell growth. So when you get a wound, you can place some frankincense on there and or, or helichrysum and it will, um, it, it just encourages new cells to be produced and grow quickly, uh, therefore, uh, you know, healing the wound quickly. And frankincense is really amazing um, uh, concerning the cells because it encourages the DNA in the cell to go back to its original blueprint of health, if you will. Uh, if it is um, a cell that is reproducing unhealthy cells, then it, it uh, changes that and it helps um, it reproduce new healthy cells rather than reproducing those old damaged cells. You don't want to pre reproduce damaged cells, right? Um, so lemon, orange, and lime are also really great for the skin um, and they provide gentle skin cleansing properties and it's really important to keep your skin clean for it to stay healthy. And then uh, we, my company that um, I encourage um, people to try, uh, we have two proprietary blends that are specifically for skin. One's called HD Clear and it's for problem skin. So if you have teenagers in your home that are um, uh, suffering from problem skin, it's a great non-toxic non option. A lot of um, companies on the market, uh, you know, skincare companies, they use um, other <laughs> ingredients that aren't necessary, they're necessarily helpful for, for your skin or healthy. And a lot of, some companies actually use chemicals that have actually been banned in other countries, but not in the U.S. So it's really important to do your research and find out what those, um, those ingredients are. And, um, doTERRA doesn't use ingredients like that. And so, uh, our products are really, really healthy and non-toxic. Another um, proprietary blend we have available is an anti-aging blend. It's called Immortel. Um, in other European countries, I believe it's called, um, now I can't remember what it's called. Oh, I think it's called Salubel. Um, so if you've seen Salubel or Immortel, those are both the same thing. And uh, so they have anti-aging oils in them, one of them being Hi, Giovanna. One of them being uh, frankincense, one being myrrh. These are all wonderful oils that are so soothing and healing to the skin. 
and uh, so they took the best ones and blended them for for their anti-aging properties. Um, other things that uh, other oils that you want to that are great for skin health in general are peppermint. Um, it's energizing. Rosemary is energizing. Rosemary actually encourages hair growth as well. So um, be sure and put it in the places that you want hair to grow. <laughs> uh, balance is soothing. Ylang Ylang, marjoram, cypress, uh, juniper berry, vetiver. Those are all great oils that you can use on your skin for various skin issues such as itching. You can use them for energizing, revitalizing skin, um, dry, oily skin. Uh, if, you, if you have sensitive skin, you can use these oils to uh, you know, make that so that it's not as as sensitive as um, as it has been. And then, of course, you want to encourage, um, you want to nourish your skin from the inside out as well. That's really important if you want to have healthy skin. One of the things you can try is omega oils. They provide extra nu nu nourishment for the skin, also for the brain, um, and they really help you think. Clearer, but they're so important for so many functions in your body. And then another option um, that we have that isn't sold anywhere else is uh, Yarrow Palm Cellular, Be or Cellular Beauty Complex. And so it's made with yarrow and um, pomegranate. Um, uh, and uh, so it, uh, <laughs> I'm sorry, I just got a message and I was reading and I wasn't paying attention. To, I can't talk and read at the same time. Uh, so Yarrow Palm uh, Cellular Beauty Complex is one of my new favorite products that I love to use because I've always had problem skin. When I was a teenager in my 20s, I always had problem skin. And um, so when I used the Yarrow Palm Cellular Beauty Complex the first time, it took a few weeks to really notice a difference, but my complexion really just it I was my face was glowing and I got compliments on my complexion and that was so surprising to me because I'd never had compliments on my skin before so um, if you are interested in um, using oils to support your skin as an, a non-toxic healthy option let me know get if you are already talking to a person about essential oils and just haven't started yet, go talk to them and have them help you get started because they can be really helpful. If you don't have someone, I would love to chat with you and help you find what you need um, that's um, on your budget. And um, yeah, so thanks for listening and I will see you next week.